Hello lovelies, it's Dee here from Golden Thread Tarot and I'm here to bring you another channel message. I hope this message is finding you blessed and full of abundance, okay? So let's go ahead and jump in <clears throat> to these messages, okay? So I'm getting the message right off the bat that Spirit has an official person, a very helpful person, okay, that they have officially ordained. So this person could literally be some kind of ordained minister or ordained like priest or pastor or something like that, um, that they have that they're sending towards you. Okay. Um, or just, or a spiritualist or just a person. I'm getting to that. This person actually, it's giving me the kind of energy of being in a humble vessel while being a very official enlightened being. Okay. It's given me very much like high in spiritual ranking, which a lot of people try to say, which I don't, I don't actually, uh, necessarily, I don't want to say necessarily believe in spiritual ranking, but the way my spirit guides have expressed it to me, it's different than the way that humans view like a ranking. Okay. But because this person is here in like the military garb and they're like the official person okay it's given me a very kind of like like officialized and ordained by spirit okay and it's like we give this person a position of power we give this person spiritual gifts or spiritual authority right this person has a lot of spiritual authority now they 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 could be working on the mcdonald's down the street okay um, so don't let the outside, that's what I'm getting. Don't let the outside or like the vessel fool you. Yeah. They're even showing me somebody who could just kind of look just kind of like the, the person that they're showing me right now is just kind of, they, <laughs> they look kind of just like a, um, just like a random guy, <laughs> You know, like just some random that you would meet, you know, they're kind of, you know, they, their shoes are kind of scruffed, kind of scuffed up, you know, their hair is kind of like shaggy. It looks like maybe, you know, like maybe they took a bath like last night, but not today kind of energy, you know, like they just jump up and kind of like put like a casual pullover. Now they're not giving me like, they're, they're a clean person. Okay. So don't get it twisted around that. Right. But they're, this person doesn't look like a bum or anything. Right. But, um, it, it's giving me very much so like you're going to be very surprised by who this person is. Like when they first approach you, you're going to be like, okay. And then they start opening up their mouth and they start talking and they start like basically like preaching, like, like having like just, and you're just going to feel the channeling energy. Like, oh, this person is tapped in, tuned on, turned on. Like, oh, they got a real powerful, like spiritual channel, right? This person is a very powerful spiritual channel. This person very much so grounds, like very high vibrational, like light body energy, light worker. It's given me that kind of energy where it's kind of like oh hmm, okay I see you I see you I see you know that kind of energy right and this person is going to be very helpful and I feel like they are going to provide a kind of peaceful like a peaceful end to a situation that you were dealing with okay okay so this person could come to your home or you could go to this person's home okay this could be a person that you work with or a person that you meet through a person that you work with okay or you could meet this person through your occupation this person could be a client or they could just or if you work in a store they could come in you could meet this person through their occupation you might go to their office or go to the place where they work or you know whatever it is okay um for some of you, I'm getting that this person might strike up a conversation with you um, when they're like on break or on their lunch, okay? Or if there's like a new person and you kind of never talk to them and then you're alone in the break room together and then you're just like, so, uh, you know, you strike up a conversation or like something happens and the two of you like strike up a conversation or you know, like I'm seeing somebody come in and like you, you start speaking to somebody and this person is kind of like paying attention but not paying attention and they overhear what you're talking about and they're like, hmm. Or it could be the opposite way. It's kind of a situation here where it's like a scenario just kind of happens to happen and it's a person you've never really opened up to or talked to before. Um, so this person could be in your, in general vicinity. They could be, they could kind of know people that you know. You might have gone into the place where this person works before. They might have come to the place where you work before, but they've never really stood out or they've never really, you know, made themselves known for real to you. Like maybe you were kind of like, hmm, that person looks kind of interesting or who's the new guy or who's that new girl, you know, something like that. Um, yeah. 
But this is a fantastic opportunity that you're going to meet with this person, okay? This person could overhear you talking, or this person could even, like, ask somebody, like, who is that person? Like, what do they do? Like, oh, they do this, or they do that. And it's giving me a kind of, like, oh, I want to collaborate with that person, or I also do those things, or I also talk about those things, okay? Or I also am interested in that kind of, you know, uh, maybe this person is interested in occult stuff or spirituality or something that you're talking about, some school of thought or philosophy that you're talking about, and they're just like, yeah, I'm into this, too. It's going to feel very much so like, oh, me and this person are walking down the same path. We're going on the same journey. Like it's going to really start, it's going to stand out to you, right? Abundance. I also feel like you're going to feel a lot of abundant energy, a lot of like abundant high vibrational energy around this person. Like I feel like even though they might ha come in a very humble, humble vessel, it's given me very much so like people know this person has power. Like there's something about this person and about their energy that people just automatically kind of listen to them. People automatically put them in a position of power. If this person gives somebody advice, they're like, oh yeah, I should really, really listen to this. Like something, you know, it's given, it, like, again, it's given me very very much so like ordained by spirit you know it's given me very much so like this person has authority some kind of a spiritual authority or just some kind of air energy about them that's very much so like oh this person you know although they might i keep getting that they might not look it but there's something about this person that you're going to be like oh like they got something going on like they got something high vibrational going on with them forgiveness in reverse this person might help you to forgive or, or to release or to heal a wound um, around forgiveness that you have been struggling with okay even if it's like self-forgiveness okay or love or just some kind of yeah something around that something around forgiving or letting go of something holding on to some kind of baggage from the past which has been kind of blocking your abundance or blocking your your productivity or something like that you know bro blocking something from coming into you so spirit is sending this person to you They're like the two of you are going to like meet up or bump into each other in some type of way and it's going to feel very like oh like this was very like spiritually planned like because I, I feel like you guys are like my you know you're you're like my people who are like, you know, you're really paying attention to the signs and synchronicities that spirit, you know, so when you meet somebody and things just line up, you're like, you take note of it. You're like, oh no, this is, yeah, I'm getting the spiritual hints that this is, you know, this person is significant, you know, you might not know quite about what yet, but you can tell as soon as this person starts talking to you and they can tell too by the way, although they might not show it. I'm getting that this person might not show it. They might not be as open about things as you are, but yeah. So this person is really gonna help you reconsider a position or reconsider some something, right? Something about this forgiveness energy that you've been blocking, okay, here. Something about this, about letting go of some kind of baggage or letting go of something that's like a shadow energy that you've been trying to evolve out of or let go of, okay? This person is really going to help you to reconsider. This person might have a strong connection, whether they realize it or not, to Archangel Michael. I'm getting that with the blue. Or I feel like this person has like a really strong throat chakra. Again, like I said, see how this person has a third eye? Their third eye is freaking open. And you're going to be able to tell. You're like, oh, this person's got something going on. You know, spiritually, they they're, they got some knowledge here that's being downloaded into them. And again, here with this person doing that, like here at their throat chakra, but this person has very powerful words for you, right? This person has a very, has uh, has the gift, has the gift of, or of being a really good speaker, a really big, a really good orator. You know, like you just listen to this person and you kind of get kind of captivated and, and just what they say just seems like the truth, you know, and it seems like very trustworthy words of like guidance. This person seems like wise beyond their years is what I'm saying, um, is what I'm seeing or kind of hearing also from spirit. Within the next few months. So this person is definitely coming in. And this person within, within I feel like this person is coming in sooner, is coming in pretty sooner. Um, <clears throat> pretty quickly is what I meant to say, sorry. Uh, but I feel like they're coming in sooner than the next few months. But I feel like after you meet this person and then over the next few months of getting to know this person or this person, I feel, I feel like this person's going to pop back up in your radar or going to pop back up in your friend group or pop back up. It's like you meet this person and you have a conversation with them or you, you, you know, there's a new person at your job and then you have a quick conversation. You're like, that person's pretty cool. You know, you wave at them, you see them around work, but then you 
maybe the two of you get invited to the or at an office party or maybe the two of you get invited you find out that it's like oh do you know this person oh yes I know that person like oh wow really like how do you know them oh they're my neighbor are you serious oh yeah no I've been friends with them for you know that kind of scenario where it's like we know the same people we've been running around loosely in the same circles we just happen to hot not have met until now you know and it's going to feel very much like spiritually like a spiritual guidance you're going to feel like spirit's hand all over that right all over it it's going to kind of pop. i'm getting goosebumps you guys yeah i'm not really getting them on like my upper body but my lower body has got goosebumps okay yeah <laughs> it's up to you that's something that really significant this it's up to you kind of energy like it's up to you whether or not you want to take this person's advice or whether or not you want to allow this in but that could also be this person's kind of like inspirational speech or something like that they give you it could be a very like self-empowering kind of like you know this is about you and about your your capability and you're totally you know you're able and you have everything you know it's kind of giving me that i don't know if you're gonna have this conversation with this person right off the bat or like what um because for some of you it's giving me like i don't know maybe for like one or two of you it's giving me like you might meet this person once like a stranger that you sit beside or somebody that you sit like it's but it's giving it's not giving me like something quick like you stand beside them in an elevator ride or something like that it's giving me like you're on a train next to this person or you're on a plane where you're like talking to them over a few hours right or you know over a, a little bit of extended amount of time or maybe this person comes and like um works at your store like um maybe you work at like a franchise or something like that and so they bring in people from other locations to your store so this person is working with you over a few days or over a few weeks it's like over the next few weeks i'll be here working with you on and off you know and so it's kind of giving me like you're going to spend a little bit of time with this person okay mature man exactly this person is very much so like despite who no matter what their age is they could be you know they could be a, they could have that gray hair but despite whatever this person you know like whatever it is here this person is going to come off like i said like very mature like this person's going to come off as like a very old soul kind of energy that i have and with that five energy it's giving me hierophant energy for sure like it's, it's giving me very like what wise this person has a lot of wisdom you guys are gonna laugh at me but this person is giving it's reminding me a lot of a lot of the backstory like that's in the Cimmerillion about Gandalf from the Lord of the, so the Lord of the Rings is like the is what I'm talking about right so Gandalf the wise it's given me that very much so like a very humble like exterior right with a lot of like fiery passion and a drive inside and a very like a lot of wisdom high honor yeah you are really gonna see this person in high honor like you're this person's gonna make a great impression on you and you're gonna be like wow i am intrigued by this person i want to get to know them and i feel like they see that they see you the same way this person might tell you about how they were in some kind of situation with a thief or how they've had situ or this could be about a situation with a thief okay this could be about um this person could give you some kind of advice on like energy vampires or something like that okay that's kind of what i'm getting it's like over giving your attention or over giving your focus to things that like really you know they really slow you down because where your attention goes your energy flows right so this person is like well you know this person might give you some kind of advice on manifestate on um, manifestation you know like the world that you create is up to you you know um you are the you know the guider and the writer of your reality you know you are the manifester of your reality so your perspective and your your thought patterns whether they be conscious or, or, or subconscious are very important you know it's it's giving me all that kind of energy um but this person might enlighten you about something that's actually been taking a lot more energy from you than you really realize okay and it could be this energy here right this energy right here, this forgiveness in reverse, this baggage that you've been dealing with, whatever it is, I, they keep saying that word baggage, it's reminding me of, of a reading that I did the other day, but it's, it's given me this, and that was coming out, that forgiveness in reverse energy in that reading was coming out as the five of cups you know so it's just kind of like sadness and um you know grief over what hasn't worked out over what hasn't been there over the love you didn't get over the relationships you didn't get over those positions that you were denied and all the ways that you were kind of like 
shoved off to the side, I feel like this person is going to bring to your attention that, that, you know, or they might give you some kind of key information on, um, you know, on, well, I read this book and it really helped me kind of get over the grief of that, you know, oh, it's given me very much so, oh, I've been in your same position. I've matured, why, you know, wise man, mature man through it. This is how I got over it. Like, okay, how did you get over it? How did you move on out of this five of cups energy? You know, how did you realize? Oh, I realized it was just stealing so much away from me. It was stealing my dreams. It was stealing my it was stealing my productivity. It was stealing my attention. It was stealing, you know, it was stealing more from me than I gave, that I, that I really realized, you know, and that it was taking more from me than it was giving. So it had to go, you know, and that's the kind of energy that I'm getting from this person where this is a helpful person that's officially being sent to you by the divine to help you recover or let go of whatever this forgiveness and reverse energy here is. And like I said, I feel like you're really going to see this person in high honor again, main male so this i don't know if this person could become like a main a main masculine figure in your life for some of you this person could come become like, especially if you are a masculine yourself if you had wounds okay around fatherhood or around fathership or father uh, anyway you guys know what i'm talking about if you had like father wounds or parent wounds around your masculine energy maybe perhaps you didn't grow up around your dad or you grew up around a very controlling or hostile or whatever it was or you know emotionally immature or distant or, you know, neglectful, whatever it was, if you have a father wound here, if you have a, a wound, a shadow energy in your masculine energy that you're trying to heal, I feel like this is, you're going to really, you're going to, it's going to become clear to you because you guys, like I said, you're here, you're, you're, you know, you know, you're awake, you're, you're paying attention to the signs and symbols of what's going on. You're analyzing what's going on around you. Okay. Otherwise you wouldn't have been drawn to this reading. Um, I feel like this person is going to kind of become that number one person that, that very quickly takes that position. So for some of you, um, this could, it, it's even kind of, it's even me kind of giving me the energy of like, like an adopted parent or like a, a big brother, big sister kind of energy it, in the sense of like the community program, big brother, big sisters of, you know, I don't even know if that's, if they still do that, you know, but, it, or, you know, kind of, uh, kind of like where you take somebody, a mentor that takes you under their wing or somebody that helps guide you through something, you know, or like I said, if you are, say you are a single mother or a single father and you are struggling with, um, giving like a really healthy present masculine energy an example of a masculine energy to your child or to somebody around you this is you finding that person in your community that it's going to um you know that is really going to help foster that energy within your child or foster your inner child if this is you that's being healed through this okay so if you've been praying for that kind of energy here where it's like I don't know if necessarily I'm really getting really strong, like a like a single mother kind of vibe where it's like I still want my son or my daughter to have a very even if I'm not open to dating right now or I'm still healing or something. I still want them to have a very positive, like masculine example in their life. This is you finding that person. This is you finding that counseling position. This is you finding that community service person. This is you finding that person at your church or your place of worship. This is you finding that strong masculine example for your child. So um, if you've been praying for that or you've been asking for that, I know that's for somebody out there because that, that scenario stood out really strongly to me. Um, you know, if you feel comfortable, um, talk about it. You know, you can talk about it in the comment section down below um, if you feel comfortable sharing with it. Okay. Um, so if you've been praying for that, this is that coming in, you know. Um, or if you have been praying for both, if you've been praying for a, an energy to come into your life that is a loving masculine person for you, I'm not getting big romance vibes off of this situation here, but I did notice that, um, oh yeah, I talked about that too, change and journey, right? This is a big, this is what it was giving me very big, like spiritual, like this part of your spiritual journey to meet this person, right? It's going to bring a lot of change to what direction that you're going in. It could also almost feel like you've been waiting for this person, but it's going to be unexpected. Like I said, this person's going to catch you off guard. You're not going to really see it coming. It's kind of just going to be like a chance meeting or a chance running into each other where you're just like, oh, wow. But like I said, it's going to feel very like spiritually guided. Yeah. Sudden wealth.
Yeah. So also, sorry, thank you for reminding me of that spirit. This person could also talk with you about the fact that they, okay. Because look, let's go back to a scenario. It could even be something, spirit wants you to be open-minded about this right here, this detail. It could come in all kind of stuff. Like I, it was taking me back, spirit was taking me back to the example of, of you sitting in the break room. Maybe, you know, a, a, a commercial or a next up in the news or the news is playing on, you know, and then it, they're talking about like somebody stealing something and you say something about it. And this person is like, oh yeah, I know. Right. What is this world coming to? Yada, yada, yada. Y'all start having a conversation that kind of way. It could be something as simple as that, or it could be something deeper about this person. You could be talking about that. Um, um, this person could literally open up to you and talk to you about how, oh yeah, I just dealt with so-and-so, you know, like finding out I had to cut this person off because they were stealing from me or they were stealing from a business or they might've just stole money from me. Or, uh, this person could talk about how a person close to them. I know we've been, this has kind of been a running, um, uh, a running story in the, in the narrative, in the a running narrative in the collective, excuse me, that there has been a masculine here who has been struggling with the fact that a, a really close friend of theirs or a close or a family member or somebody very close that they considered very trustworthy, um, was cheating, you know, was, was, um, cheating on their partner, you know, with, you know, that, um, uh, well, I'm struggling with my words right now. <laughs> my throat chakra is like, but yes. So, yeah, and it could be hard for this person to talk about that. Or this could be you. You could be this person who is like, oh, you have this run-in with this person and, and you just meet this person that makes you open up. It makes you open up and be kind of vulnerable. Like, yes, I actually am recovering because, you know, I actually found out that my spouse or that my partner was cheating on me with my brother or cheating on me with a family member. So it was really crazy, you know. Um, it's a lot of drama and I'm just kind of trying to get away from that. I'm not into the... I'm, I'm just kind of just trying to be chill right now. That kind of energy, right? That's what I'm getting off this thief energy here. And I definitely feel like you're going to see this person as the gift. And they're going to see you as a gift too. Yeah, as a gift to a, a part of your journey. 100%. I feel like this person has like a really important role. It's kind of like the, to your spirit, this, this person is like the indicator that a new journey, that a new part of your journey has begun, right? Oh, sudden wealth, great fortune. Cause I was just about to start talking about sudden wealth again and great fortune like flew out right on top of sudden wealth. So I definitely feel like again, and this, this energy right here reminds me of the opportunity card, right? Where it has the person like standing like that with all the coins falling on them, right? And it also reminds me of the, what other card is it in here that I'm thinking about? The abundance card. So this card is giving me the opportunity and the abundance card from this deck together, right? The imagery of it is. Hmm. I definitely feel like this person is going to help you with letting go. Yeah. So definitely it's giving me that abundance card. You see how the, the angel there is showering out the abundance. And then on the other side would be the opportunity card, which would be you standing there with your arms raised up, with allowing this opportunity to kind of like shower down, you know, this abundance here to kind of shower down onto you. Right? So that's what this very much so giving me is it that is that this feels like kind of like heaven or like spirit guides or something like that being like I'm an answered prayer here you go here is the type of person that you've been looking for and, and they're falling right into your lap right and you're just like oh my gosh all this abundance from heaven that I've been praying for is just ching, 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 falling down right onto me and it's like really opening up your heart chakra and this is giving me very queen like um. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups energy, especially with this heart chakra energy, because it's just like, wow, you know, it, it, it's creating a lot of abundance and a lot of gratitude within you because you're like, an, an like, right, an answered prayer. You're like, oh, my God, this person is literally my answered prayer. This is what I've been asking for. Right. OK, gift <laughs> that, you know, you're going to see this person as, as a wonderful gift. This experience with this person is a wonderful gift. 
Courthouse is giving me justice energy. Okay, so this person could be a Libra or you could be a Libra or this person could uh, be involved. And it's just like, it's it's giving me good karma, right? This person that's coming into your life is, is, you know, to balance things out in your life. It's giving me temperance energy. It's giving me, you know, justice energy. This person could be helping you to overcome some kind of poverty mindset. Yeah. So this person is bringing some kind of um, adjudication, some kind of judgment energy here on this poverty card is giving me poverty mindset, some kind of poverty or lack mindset that you've had based on like that five of cups energy, right? Five of cups energy where it's like, so this person could be teaching you how to flip a five of cups into a 10 of cups. Cause that really kind of stood out to me that I did the double five of cups, 10 of cups. If you believe, you know, this person could really, really teach you a lot of a lot about self-empowerment. And it could just literally, yeah, this person, I was getting that earlier, but this person might give you some kind of form of meditation or they might recommend um, a class or recommend like, oh, have you ever watched this type of meditation? This person, oh, they present this, this online, you know, for free. So you can check it out, you know, and see if you really like it. You know, this person might. You know, they might go and meditate or like they might recommend like a class or something like that to you. There's something better. Okay. And you're ready. So spirit is telling you like you're ready. You know, all you have to do is believe that you're really, you know, this, this person is bringing a lot of hope. Yeah. They were giving me star energy. I was seeing the star card very clearly. So this person was definitely giving me a lot of star energy. And I, I'm sorry about my dogs barking in the background, but it is what it is. They're dogs. They bark. They're just protecting my house. <laughs> And I feel like this person is going to make you feel very protected, okay? Also, I feel like this person is going to help you with boundaries here with this no card exclamation point, okay? This person could even advise you on like not doing something or not saying something or yeah, it's kind of giving me kind of because it's giving me a kind of like I prayed for it. And the answer that I'm getting is I have this uh, person, I haven't opened up and this person dropped into my life and gave me, you know, the answer that I was looking for, you know, which for some of you could be, you know, like a, a no, like say no to that situation that's draining you. Say no to energy thieves and energy empires. Say no to the temptation to fall into five of cups energy. Say no to your depression or say no to that kind of energy, right? Like, okay, the no card came out again. <laughs> Okay, so absolutely, that's confirmation for me that I was reading that correctly, the way the spirit wanted, you know, so maybe just that, like, no, like, learn how to say no, learn how to not compromise, you know, um, which is funny because they came down in the reconsider card, uh, maybe it's, you know, reconsider, um, this person could even help you to reconsider some kind of self-indulgent energy you might have been in, like, say... <laughs> okay this person could be a dare officer you guys know what i'm talking about here okay so it's like say no to temptation say no to devil energy say no to you know manipulation say no to outside sources say no to um to something this person could really inspire you and spirit is saying that um within a year from now okay over the next year you're gonna make a lot of changes that this person is going to inspire within you okay and it could not even be you know this person like preaching at you or saying they're, but they're just like oh this is you're like you're always so calm you're so collected and how did you get to this place well i do this and i do this and I do that it works for me maybe it'll work for you and it, and it could be something as simple as that like oh well have you tried doing this because that really worked for me like oh really like yeah and then you feel very inspired to take inspired action to go ahead and do it you know um and you know, to just, yeah, <laughs> to just jump up and do it. Oh, okay. What did I just say? This person is teaching you how to not compromise on something, how to not compromise yourself, how to not compromise your goals, how to not compromise. Um, yeah, it's just this kind of, it's just kind of like, don't be a pushover kind of energy. Like don't, you know, in the past, you know, don't let things like that, you know, really stick up to you. Be disciplined on these, um, like be like more mentally focused and more mentally disciplined, but in a really soft and gentle and art and, and like heart open way. This person might also do some kind of like art therapy or something like that. I got that. Or this person might create something. They might write or create or blog or paint or do something like that as well. Right? But, yeah. So it's this energy of you just kind of being like. And also, I think, 
too that the two of you seem like un like un like an unlikely pair or like if people are kind of like how did you two become friends or how did you two like what is like that's so like you two two seem such opposites of each other but actually that's just like on the outside or on the you know but actually underneath you know it's very it's kind of like this very balancing energy yeah this person is really going to help you find success right really help you to find success achieving something that you have not that you have not been able to achieve or you have not been able to let go of yet and spirit it says like you might have been being very hard on yourself like why can't i get over this why can't i let go why can't i just you know move on from it like what's going on like spirit is saying like um it just wasn't the right time okay and that it's really time. Yeah, you needed to get more information on. And this person is going to be that person providing that information on how to choose a new direction in your life. Okay, so just trust because you asked your angels to send this person to you and they did. So this person is encouraging you to not stop, to don't, to not say no, to not tell yourself no, right? To say no to the appropriate things, but to not say no to your dreams, to not say no to your possibilities, to not say, no, I can't do that. Yes, you can. You know, that kind of energy. And it's really going to help improve the situation, especially your health. Okay. Y'all better calm down, especially your health around letting go of this that you've been trying to let go and remaining in a very positive, like say yes to your dreams, say yes to believing in yourself. Know that there's a better way of being okay. And yeah, I don't know. This could lead to some kind of unlikely romance, okay? That's what I just heard when I saw this romance card. But you also could be letting go five of cups around being loved and around romance and around relationships as well, okay? So, yeah. And I really feel like this person is going to help. Again, like I said earlier, this person has a very open throat shocker and this person is going to help you to be, to have to communicate clearly and be very assertive, right? About your communication. No, right? No is a complete sentence. No, I believe in myself. Yeah, yeah, yes, I believe. Sorry, right? Telling yourself no, right? Telling yourself no in the appropriate times and then telling yourself yes in the appropriate times, right? It's that kind of energy here because this person has kind of already mastered that, that kind of throat chakra energy of where they've really opened up and they're really very self-assured and, and the way that they feel and who they are and how they carry themselves in the world, right? And I feel like that energy is going to kind of like rub off on you and it's really going to help you to take off a mask or to reveal uh, to reveal who you really are. I'm getting that. Um, so this person, I was, cause I, set, I kept seeing a, a star card. This person could have a lot of Aquarius in their chart or this person could be an Aquarius sun or have an Aquarius moon or an Aquarius rising or Aquarius North node or Aquarius, uh, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but their Pluto can be an Aquarius. I don't know, whatever. I'm not, I'm not, I'm still very amateur when it comes to astrology stuff. Like I, I I'm getting more into it, but I'm by no means, you know, really great at all that stuff. So it is what it is. Um, yeah, but there's something here about this person's like self-assured, like I am who I am. I'm going to speak my truth regardless of what other people think of it kind of energy that this person has. This person, that's why this person doesn't really like show off in their dress or where they live. They might live in a very humble house, even though they might have money. They might drive a very affordable car, even though they could probably drive something better. You know, they, they, they live in very like humble garb because it's comfortable and it's nice and they like the colors and it might be very, you know, it might be, you know, it's nice quality and it feels good on their skin you know but it might not it might not have a name brand attached to it it might not be very flashy you know but it's kind of like pared down humbled down because this person is like I don't feel the need to have any of those things because I'm assured in who I am right I, I don't feel like I'm assured in my in my financial security so I don't have to flaunt that I have money around to everybody I'm secured in my emotional security so I don't have to go you know so I'm very fine with being comfortable with saying no and saying yes and being very self-disciplined and very being very in the moment and being very kind of like I know where I'm going and I know what I'm manifesting and I know who I am so I don't feel the need to have any mask or not show myself you know I also this person I really feel like this person also has a really strong ability of, of understanding understanding when when to use their energy and when not when something deserves their energy and focus and when it doesn't you know and they've kind of mastered kind of like removing themselves you know so they're a master of just being like no I'm good and just walking off you know nope I'm good without that no this person is disrespecting me 
I'm just going to walk off. So this person is actually really good at doing like the healthy type of ghosting where it's not like you're running away because you're emotionally unavailable kind of energy, but where it's an energy of like, you're disrespecting me and I don't, I shouldn't have to explain myself. You know who I am and you know what energy I deserve. Like, you know what I deserve and I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth with you about it. And it just is what it is. I am who I am. You can love that. You can hate that. You can accept that. You could not. Whatever. If you're cool with me, cool. Come over here and hang out with me. If you're not cool with me, just go over there and don't fuck with me. Whatever. I don't care. You know, this person could have no friends in the whole world or this person could have a, a million friends and it would be this. They, they would feel the same. They would feel the same about themselves because they're very self-assured in who they are. Wow. Okay. Yeah, but the spirit said there might be a position where you might have an issue asking help from other people or allowing other people to help you, okay? Ask for help, you know? Make, make a friend. <laughs> make a friend, ask out. It'd be like, oh, hey, how did you do that? How did you find that? Where did you go? Oh, would you like, you know, could you maybe show me that sometime or, you know, talk you know, exchange phone numbers, do something, you know, like there could be definitely an issue here of you, you know, like it's like this person is willing to help people, but they have to be willing to admit that they need help and that they want help and that, you know, this person is not a person that just goes around just offering free help to people, you know, like they'll gladly help you, but you need to step up and be like, hey, I'm interested in learning more about that. Can you you know, because this person is very much so like, I'm not going to force myself or force my beliefs or onto anybody. If you come to me and you ask me for advice or you come to me and ask me for help, I will gladly help you. But I'll just go around offering it to everybody. Uh, this person really appreciates people who can step up and be like, and can admit, hey, I don't know how to do this. Can you help me do this? Or, hey, I don't, you know, just very self-assured. This person, you know, appreciates people who are also self-assured and who also can step up and just be like, hey, I need this help or hey, I need your, hey, like, and they will gladly help you. You just have to, it's kind of like almost like a test, like a, like a test for you from spirit to kind of put yourself out there and be like, hi, like, yes, I would like that. Or if this person offers help, say yes. I, instead of being like, no, I got it. No, I'm okay. No, I can just look it up myself. Just be like, you know, I, oh, well, we can, we can talk about that sometime if you want to. Yes. Let's exchange the numbers and actually follow through, you know? Yes. How about next Tuesday? I'm free. Are you free? Yeah, I am free. Okay, awesome. We'll meet here. Cool, cool. You know, like, yes, follow through and go and go through with it, okay? Because this person is definitely, you know, it's it, 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 this energy right here is giving me higher front energy too, where it's like the two people in front of like the person, official person of power, right? That That's giving me like you and this person in front of like God or like, you know, like somebody above or like some kind of like shared spirit guide or shared guide or something like that where this person is kind of like, boop, like, here you go. All right. Well, that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so very much for being here. Yeah, that was actually kind of cute cut on me. I actually liked that. I was, I was just kind of checking it out. Okay. That was nice. I, I kind of appreciate the kind of shorter hair on me maybe all right well thank you guys so very much i really uh i dug this message i really liked it it's just a little quick little message so 37 44 down on the clock thank you okay for being here with me today thank you to everybody who likes who subscribes who is here who donates who um uh, purchases my decks or just you know leaves a kind of reaffirming word down below you know let me know if this resonated for you in the comment section down below if you feel guided to Thank you. Speaking of being guided, thank you to your guides, right? I think it's definitely a good time to be very thankful of your guides and their gratitude because they're bringing this person into you. And it is really like a huge opportunity here, answered prayer. It's really, it's really gorgeous energy. And I can tell that this is coming in because you've been really putting a lot of work in on yourself. So I'm proud of you. Good for you. Okay. Um, so keep going, keep up. And when this opportunity comes and it knocks at your door, you know, don't just be like, no, it's fine. I think I'll, I think I'll just walk away. You know, if you have a tendency to do that, or if you have a tendency to kind of like not just speak up for yourself or, you know, this is your opportunity, right? So thank you guys so very much again. All right. I um, hope it's about the love light or clarity that you're looking for in this situation. Thank you to your guides for guiding you here to receive this information. Thank you to my guides for helping me to deliver this information as well as keeping me safe while I do so. Thank you guys so very much again one more time and I will see you lovelies in the next one. Okay.